This is a really quick, easy recipe, and I guarantee you, you probably have all the ingredients right in your pantry uh, right now anyway. So what a fun thing to whip up on the weekend, maybe a Sunday morning, uh, treat the family to chocolate chocolate chip muffins. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with two and a quarter cups of flour. And when you're making muffins, I always do two separate bowls, one for the dry ingredients, one for the wet ingredients, and then um, you quickly combine them. So we're gonna do the dry ingredients first. So one, uh, one cup of sugar, a little bit of salt, about a half a teaspoon of salt, and then we've got some one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. So I'm going to whisk that together. And here comes the chocolate. We're using three quarters of a cup of cocoa. And we actually got this from a great area bulk food store, which we're going to talk a little bit more about really good stuff. And when you're doing a dry measure, I like to, it's real important to do your measuring cup and then just take a back of the knife and just kind of do it like that there, especially when it comes to flour. So three quarters of a cup, this is the quarter of a cup, so we're going to do three of these babies. Ann couldn't find the, the three quarter of a cup measuring cup, so that's all right. She's making me doing my math this morning. All right, so it's got a lot of chocolate and it is gonna smell amazing. All right, so I'm gonna whisk that together. Baking soda, cocoa, sugar, flour, and a pinch of salt. You don't need to sift anymore, most things these days, but I do wanna whisk it because I wanna get that baking soda and the salt and everything all incorporated. And now we're going to add chocolate chunks. You could also use chocolate chips. These are, you know, they come in a bag. They're right next to the chocolate chips. But I thought we'd really go big on this one and do some chocolate chunks in this recipe. About a cup. All right, now to our wet ingredients. And you put them in there with the flour so that they won't sink down uh, in their batter. So this is going to, you know, the chips will be coated with a little bit of the flour, and that way they'll be throughout the muffin. Okay, now for the wet ingredients. Three eggs. So I'm going to beat the three eggs together, half of a cup of water, half of a cup of oil, vegetable or canola oil, and a half of a cup of milk, and we're using our lamer's milk, which we love so much. The glass bottle made locally, voted the best, number one when it comes to milk, and we already knew that. So one, good. Half a cup of milk. Now we're going to do one cup of sour cream. And this is what's going to keep this really nice and moist. And a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm just going to eyeball the vanilla. A little extra gets in there. It's not a big deal. So now we've got our dry ingredients in one bowl, our wet ingredients in the other. And this is where muffins can go wrong, is if you mix it all together in one bowl and they can get rock hard. Um, so you don't want to over mix muffins. It's really important to do this wet and dry thing. And then quickly combine them. It's not like a cake mix where it needs the batter needs to be really, really smooth and you want to pull out a mixer. You don't want to do a mixer when you're doing muffins. You want to do it by hand, incorporate it by hand. And I use, use a spatula and
batter comes together. It's a little bit thick, the batter, but that's okay. These are moist as all get out, and they are delicious. The other thing with muffin batter is this one in particular, I'm not sure about all, but most muffin uh, batters, you need to bake them right away. You can't really make the batter ahead and refrigerate it. Stuff happens with the flour and that type of thing. So once it's mixed, we're going to get it right into our muffin cups. This is going to make about 20 muffins, depending on how big you make them. You could probably stretch it out and get 24 if you made it a little bit smaller. Real important also to use, I like to use the foil liners for these muffins. Because it's chocolate, it just, when you use a, a thin paper liner, it doesn't look as pretty. It'll, it'll work, but I really like to use the foil. for this. Okay. Love, love, love these scoops. They come in all different sizes. Somebody got smart on this one and decided that ice cream scoops were, could be used for a lot more than ice cream. So these scoops work out great for cookies and, and in this case cupcakes and muffins because you can get the exact amount you need in here. And we want to fill these and about three quarters of the way full, is that about right? Two thirds. Two thirds, okay. They do rise up pretty nicely. My daughter Ireland is uh, in high school and they have a homeroom that meets once a week. And uh, one of the students each week is responsible for bringing treats for the homeroom. Just a quick meeting where they, you know, recap what's going on in the week and all that kind of good stuff. So she just informed me that we need to bring treats. And uh, I think this is what we'll be bringing. I'm thinking the kiddos will like this. Three fifty was our oven temperature and bake time? Three and a quarter. Three and a quarter, okay, a little bit lower heat. Uh, bake time was about eighteen to 20 minutes. Everybody's oven is different. Keep an eye on them. They puffed up right away and they were beautiful. So we knew they were ready. Because they're chocolate, you do want to keep an eye on them. Um, yeah, you don't want to overbake them. You want them to be nice and moist. Okay. You will smell them and they smell delicious. So come back with me. Just pull these out of the oven to let them cool a little bit and they are absolutely fantastic. No frosting needed. The, the chocolate chips are, are right inside there and they're gonna just taste perfect as they are. If you wanted, you could sprinkle a little bit of powdered sugar over the top, but like I say, these are a winner. They really are. My chocolate chocolate chip muffins, we'll put the recipe on our website. And we are just getting this chocolate party started. Lots more delicious chocolate recipes coming up, including a chocolate mint grasshopper tort, cocoa cookies, and a field trip. That's right, hop in the car. We are headed to Milwaukee to check out an amazing artisan chocolate shop known for their delicious homemade truffles. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.